Hi, welcome to Jared the Mountain Man Fly Tying. Uh, today we're flying a crippled midge emerger. I'm using a size 18 scud hook, some black 6 aught thread, and some uh, grizzly hackle. Oh, and also some gold tensile. Um, just one small. It's got to be real thin. And we're going to start the center of the hook shank. I like to start with the hook sideways to get the tail on here. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So now, just going to go back. Um, pretty far down the hook shank. Now we're going to pull off about five or six, uh, let's say eight pieces of the um, grizzly hackle. It's real hard to keep. It's so small, it's so hard. It's kind of hard to tie these in. Okay. Now that I got the tail tied in, I'm going to tie in the gold tensile. I'll tie this in on the top of the hook. Put off the excess of the tensile. Now, we're at back. We're going to build up the body a little bit. We're going to make it tapered all the way from the very end. Okay. Uh, now that we got it tapered real nice, I'm going to start wrapping the tensile. Actually, I'm going to put a half inch on here so I don't mess up my wraps. There we go, got a half inch. Now I'll start wrapping the tensile. Palmerine it as evenly as possible up the body. Adds a little flash to this fly and gives it some ribbing as well. Okay, now tie off your tensile. And trim off the excess. Okay. So now we'll bring our thread back halfway, or basically to the point of the hook. And we will take a piece of black foam, cut into a point, and we will tie it on about halfway, halfway down the hook shank.
it's cut about two millimeters wide so it's basically a square since it's two millimeter thick so tie it down cut off any excess that's showing we don't need any more then we want want this to remain pretty thin Okay, now you're basically going to post up the, the foam right here, make a good spot for your hackle, okay there we go, got that, now now we're going to give our hackle a crew cut you want to make all your hackles point straight out You want the shiny side of the hackle to point out away from the fly. Stand it up, tie it around your post. Okay. Uh, since my hackle is real long, I'm not going to use hackle pliers, but you wrap it one, two, let's go three, three times around our post, and then tie it off around your post. Okay, you're going to want to separate as many of those hackle fibers on your post as even as possible. And once you I'm having a hard time doing this. Such a small fly and I got these oafy fingers. And then once you get once you get them separated, you're gonna want to pull the foam over. Tie it, tie it down, make a nice thorax. Try not to capture any fibers. I got one hackle fiber in there. Okay, that's better. Yeah, make a nice size thorax. Tie that down. And then, what I like to do is, I like to tie it down to, the, wrap it all the way up to the eye. Fold it back over. Leave it a little bit loose. Don't pull it back real tight. And then tie it down. Make a good little bug head on there. Okay, there we go. <coughs> now, I just lost my whip finisher. There it is. Now we're going to whip finish it. 
I'm gonna stuff all tangled up here somehow. It's the first time for me. Okay. So this okay with finish. Make sure it's nice and tight. Cut your thread. Pull your foam. Stretch it a little bit. Snip. And it kind of snips or goes back into itself. Makes it look like a little nice body and head. There we go. Now, I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of head cement. I use my bobkin to put the head cement on. Uh, I like to put a little bit right at the base of the hackle, hold that down, and then a little bit on the thread, like always. Hold that real tight. Okay. And I also like to push all the hackle fibers away from the body put some head cement on the body, hold that tensile in place okay, it makes it shine a little bit better too there we go, top and bottom, get it nice and even too much on there there we go and there you go there is a a crippled caddis emerger or not caddis midge emerger and you want the tail you want enough tail fibers on there to hold the back up on the surface of the of the water gives it the right profile so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and watch all my other ones.